Tamado Academy, as you know, is well connected in the invisible world. We come from the invisible world. We have a, an entourage of guides who chose Fabian and myself to transmit these beautiful teachings on the earth plane and beyond, and that we listen to the lineage of masters who we name on our website, the master's lineage that have walked this way before us in physical form, some by our side, and some before we were born, who are now light beings, beings of light. And they continue to transmit to us the message of light. We are gifted in Tamado Academy with a very strong, intense contact with our main Tamado guide. And I have been in intense contact with our guide to discuss the topics of ethics. And his answer is classic. <laughs> it's all bullshit. You have to know the guide. What you have prepared with the Ten Commandments, the yogas of Hinduism, the Buddhist Eightfold Path, is all very well and good if you want to organize children in the playground. Meaning that Moses created the Ten Commandments to organize and control his brothers and sisters who were tribal and kind of wild. And that's fair. We, we as souls have chosen to be in the workshop of Mother Earth, and we have to learn how to behave with others. But what our guide is telling us is that what is fundamentally important is how do we become a light being, a being of light, an illuminated soul? What is the practice in our daily life to activate and express the light God, goodliness, godliness, creativity, creation. And this is lacking in our codes of conduct, which our guide says it's very important we take our sacred circle of Tamado very seriously. We have a million rules, as you know, to protect the circle, the teachings, the teachers, the group, the energy field, because we are working toward becoming practitioners, energy practitioners of the light. So yeah, we need, as Pat says, rules of manners, spiritual manners, where we can start to think about how we treat each other.
But what I want to consider today is death, is life, is light. There's no difference. There's no separation. We are all one in the light. So if we take that on as our belief is that fundamentally the most important thing in the life is the light, then that's our flag. The light comes first above all else. I took that from the Ten Commandments, honor thy God above all else, honor the light above all else. And what does that mean? It means that in order To practice Tamado, the way of the soul to the light, we have given you an image that we are aspiring toward the light that is way up above in the sky, the old paradigm of God outside of us, something to reach toward, which is partially true, but not completely true as we are being taught by our illuminated guide, who is telling us that it's too simplistic, it's too religious to put light up there. What we want to do, and nothing new with this, is to activate the light within to be able to express our light, as I said yesterday, to resource the light, the source, our source, our aura, our soul, because we are in a process of merging our light with the light to become unity, to become consciously a light being, a being of light here on Mother Earth, when we can still see and hear and taste and touch and feel and breathe that we have achieved illumination. The workshop of Mother Earth is that we have the physical gift of the physical body in order to consciously observe the expression, the, the, the transformation that is happening as we practice our gates and gifts of becoming light. So instead of taking your hand and reaching to God and wanting God to come in, we practice the yoga, the dojo of light, where light magnetizes into us, activating the light that is inherently ours, our God-given spark of the divine, which is already in us. We are already light beings. We are not God, but we have within us a spark of light that we can grow and build to become light. And when we become light, There is no life, there is no death, we are light. We are bliss. We are 
one with God. This act of oneness, of illumination, is called Mahasamadhi, the great bliss. The achievement in earth form to receive all light, to become all light, that there is nothing else. All ascended masters, the ones that we know, Yogananda, the Buddha, the Christ, the ones in our consciousness of time, the mythological ones before that, achieved Mahasamadhi by becoming light beings for the purpose. And this is what you remember and you are aspiring toward of trying to give to all your clients. The ascended masters chose to become light to shine down on humanity, light. All of you in this group said you wanted to be at least a master teacher, I believe. Is that right? Remember that first day, master teacher. Well, master teacher or ascended master, what it is is how much light can I activate and receive, generate, not for selfish purpose in order to feed source, which I will become when I am illuminated. Source and self become one when we achieve our illumination. Isn't that all of our wishes? To become enlightened, to become light beings, beings of light, where there is no death, there is no life, it is love, it is unity, it is only possibly described or expressed or experienced in the sacred silence.